So, we are here with... Karma Marie. And what does Karma Marie do? I'm an author. And what is a muse? Um, this is my fiction story, my first novel. Um, it's been on uh, Kindle for a couple years. It just came out in paperback and uh, hardcover. Um, second book's in the process, but it's about, uh, it's a fantasy book um, about a woman who uh, travels to an alternate dimension where all the mythologies go exist. So what made you choose to go with mythology instead of a straight fantasy world? Um, I've had a fascination with Greek mythology since I was in middle school, and actually um, I didn't choose the story, it chose me. Uh -huh. So just the story came to me about 10 years ago. So which mythologies are featured in the book here? Um, in the first book, predominantly uh, Greek mythology and a slight introduction to Norse. Um, the, in the future books in the series will feature more and more various uh, mythologies from around the world. So which was, is your favorite of mythologies you're talking about you enjoyed studying in school? Myth oh, Greek, for sure. And then the second uh, running? Um, actually, I would probably have to say um, Camelot and uh, King Arthur. King Arthur. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Yes. Is King Arthur going to appear in the series? He is awesome. In a, in a in a future book, yes. So. A once a future king gets to appear in another piece of sort of media. Yes. <laughs> so, what is yeah. what possessed you to write this book other than the book chose you? Um, it was a combination of a need to get the story out of my head and um, being able to complete this project and be able to have a finished product to put out there for people to read and I think I've probably enjoyed it as much writing it as I hope people enjoy reading it. So what would you tell future uh, writers about what if they wanted to write a book, what, if, what can, advice could you give them? Um, the advice I gave myself when I meditated on it was just write. Just do it. You have to commit to it. You have to say, this is what I'm working on, and do it. You might miss dates. You might lose sleep, but you just have to make it a priority to get the story out and on paper. What about writers that get well, won't write because they feel it's bad? I actually self-published on Kindle. Um, it actually, I didn't have anyone edit it or anything. I just put it out there because I was unsure and I wanted to get like some opinion, some feedback from the public, not friends and family, whether it was something I should pursue or not. Even though, um, I will say this, if you want to write, you should always write. If it brings you joy, write, whether it's for an audience of one or millions. But I, I, I did, I put it out there just to get feedback and uh, it was positive. <laughs> so I committed to getting it in print. <laughs> Had it been otherwise, I probably wouldn't have gone with the print. <laughs> so, any last words though you'd like to say before we sign off? Yes. So, go back to yourself in kindergarten. Go with, what do I wanna be when I grow up? Make that your goal put blinders on to everything else and pursue it relentlessly until you achieve it. Thank you. Thank you.